Tibetan Buddhism, Book of Death. Do you know that the Tibetan Buddhist Book of Death is a treasure for our time? It was composed by Padma Sambhava in the century after Christ and hid in the mind of his disciples to be reborn on this new time to give this treasure to the world. And 200 years ago, one of his disciples was reborn and take out this treasure from a cave. Well, no, nowadays for what the Tibetan Book of Death is. If you would like to know the science behind the Tibetan Book of Death, please stay to the end, my friend, because I have something very important to share with you. In this master class, you will learn the science behind the Trumas, and you will get the enthusiasm to live in the life that you deserve. About 100 years ago, when Evan Benz went to Sikkim, the east of the Himalayas, they did a translation from Tibetan uh, to English, and then this is what they came in the West to be known as the Tibetan Book of Death. But the reality of this is that the translation of, the, of this is, in Tibetan is Bardo Todron, liberation through hearing the intermediate states. Then we can get through hearing those teachings, we can get uh, the clear light mind in this life. Uh, on the process of total, there are six intermediate states, life, intermediate state, meditation, intermediate state, and dream intermediate state. This is in the life process. Then there are death intermediate state, uh, the absolute uh, intermediate state, and the rebirth intermediate state. Those they are the three of the process of death. One is if you have been introduced to the nature of the mind by your spiritual mentor, then you realize the luminosity of the path. If you don't achieve this in life, then you can achieve on the death process what is called the mother clear light. The first clear light mind, the child luminosity of the path, then you need first to realize the perfection with the sutra. Then you go through the generation and completion states, through the what is called uh, Mahamudra. And then you get the right karma mudra, then you can be able to obtain the mother luminosity in this life. Or what is what is same, the child luminosity will dissolve into the father and mother luminosity. Mm -hmm. We were talking about of those of high caliber who can accomplish such a stage of uh, the father and mother luminosities in lifetime. But for the middle, those who are meditating and they achieve uh, some kind of stability and they uh, are practicing with other deities so they will they will uh, reborn in their pure lands so they will recognize the state of bliss or the, the mind and they will direct their minds to the pure lands of Amitabha or the copper color in mountain of Padmasambhava. Now is coming the second chance and that is what is about the Tibetan Book of Death to give the second chance for liberation in the process of death. This is the esoteric uh, Buddhist is, is, is schools that they, they know that what happens after death. So now what happens when we die? So when we die, the elements that has been formed our body from the time of the, our conception through the semen and the blood of, of the echo the mother, which is the earth and fire element and then the uh, water and wind elements representing them the white and the red solar solar and lunar drops than it calls so now on the time of death they will invert they will dissolve one into each other and the consciousness will get uh, liberated uh, earth element is starting to dissolve into water so the body is starting to get heavy and it slow down until it stops then the water element dissolve into fire and then the mouth will dry up and then the uh, the fire element it will dissolve into wind and the heat of the body it will extinguish
and then the um, wind dissolves into consciousness and the last breath, the outer breath, it, it, will, it will happen. Then consciousness, it will dissolve in what is called the three indicative luminosities. So then those luminosities are relaxing to the, uh, the five elements. First, the father uh, drop that is on the head absorb the, the white uh, element of water and wind. Then the lower drop, the mother solar drop that is down in the navel, uh, absorb the earth and fire elements. And they are starting to move one down and the other is coming up. So one is producing what is called the white like moon appearance luminosity and the other is starting to uh, manifest the red sun uh, increase like luminosity and they are ones on opposite directions to meet in the center of the heart and they close and here it produce the black near the time and the oscillations of the mind experience and I think consensions or the uh, mental consciousness, they, they collapse. And now certainly they invert the polarities and the, the white is going down to the sexual organ to lose, that is the father drop, the lunar drop, and the mother is going through the nose and then it's coming out, the red mother uh, solar drop and then here we 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 experience now with this the consciousness is without support and the experience of the clear light like a, a blue sky appear and that it will uh, be there just for the, uh, the time what it takes to have a snap if we don't recognize this then all the projections of positive and negative aspects of our mind it pro will project all the deities, the peaceful, semi ruffle and ruffle deities and then we go now towards this process. So if we didn't recognize this uh, mother clear light and we didn't get liberated there, so what will happen is that our mind after that it will start uh, manifest all the peaceful, semi-rifle and rifle deities. So then it will be manifestations of the, our, our aspects of our own mind. But if we don't recognize that, then we'll get in trouble. So, uh, let's to see how it, how it starts. First, it will appear the 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 Adi Buddha, what is called Bairochana, the blue Buddha on the center of a mandala of five Adi Buddhas. Uh, the Buddha uh, uh, Bairochana is blue, represents the, the sky, yeah, the space of our mind where our consciousness has been dissolved the, in the essential nature of our mind. is blue and his consort is white, represents the manifesting luminosity. So if we don't recognize this, and on the, on the first day after the three days and a half of the process, of death, it will appear the second Buddha, which is called Vahasattva in white, represents the, the primordial wisdom of like mirror and the consort, the element of water. And then the third day will appear Ranna Sambhava, representing the wisdom of equanimity and his consort with the, representing the element of earth. Buddha Amitabha on the west side, yeah, with the fourth direction, you remember the Buddha Amitabha, his pure land with all the, um, the kinis from his western paradise of uh, Sukhavati, the pure land of bliss. And he represents the, the wisdom of discrimination and his consort, the um, fire element. And then it will continue this, the Amoga city, the Green Buddha. And if we don't recognize after these five days, on the sixth day will appear all together. And if we don't recognize, on the seven days, 
it will appear what is called the Vidyadharas, the five Vidyadharas. The first one is called the Vidyadhara, you will see here in the in the picture, is the Vidyadhara called the Lotus Lord Dance or the awareness display. He is in a rainbow body displaying all the colors, luminosities and pervades everything and is blessing you directly. If you recognize him, you will get liberated straight away. You recognize this Vidyadara, here is the end of Sansara and Nirvana because he is beyond Sansara and Nirvana. So he will come also with his consort, yeah, the Red Akini, the mother of all phenomena. And after this, they will come the other four Vidyadaras. After that, they come the wrathful deities. And those, they are the manifestations of our negative karma and previous life and imprints. And it will be very difficult to recognize that. And here you have one of them that will appear and they will scare us because we are scared of our negative uh, imprints of, of mind. So we don't recognize that they are a entity of independent existing. Try to help us, but we'll, if we don't recognize, we'll try to escape and we'll find that Sansara uh, gods, they will try to seduce us by creating miracles of uh, palace and beautiful houses and seductive things, material things, and probably will fall down there because this is what we our tendency is going to. So we need to be careful about this. This is the teachings of the Tibetan Book of Death about. We don't get neither of those, then I will reborn again in Sansara, but without choice that time. So that is why, please, I hope you understand this book, uh, Mysterious Science of the Mind. Anyway, I hope you like this video, and if you like, please I'll give you a thumb up. You can um, click on the um, notification bells, and if you like to see more videos, the when this video is ending is around, there are different choices. Please click any of them, and thank you very much. And I hope you too have enjoyed it, and then see you again, my friend.